Hey guys and welcome to another FIFA 22 video and in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you on how to complete the new uh, objectives a rebay in milestones a squad foundation as fast as possible in the last video we did have a look at the uh, the other sets of uh, Liga Portugal players that set uh, you can complete as fast as possible now a rebay theoretically I mean this one's going to be done online matches in live foot friendly uh, the other sections have done rivals or squad battles if you want to do it quickly, your best bet is to do it in squad battles. Obviously, it's boring. Uh, with squad foundations for a rebate, it's going to be done online in the uh, new foot friendlies game modes. Uh, football foundations, the exact same requirements what we had for the Edivis one, where you can also go and do that Macintosh card as well. And hopefully, I'll have a review and a rebate later on today. Just one card to unlock for this one and still the four segment. So how fast are you going to be able to do this card? Well, theoretically... In a nice world, you're going to be able to get this card in 72 minutes, so just over an hour. Uh, now, if we have a look at what's going to be done in separate matches, that's obviously going to be one of the things as well. Uh, score using Liga Portugal players in six separate matches. That's going to be done in six separate matches. Uh, assist four goals. Score six finesse goals. Those two could theoretically be done in one match. And uh, finesse shots, uh, as more updates have been given to the game, finesse shots are becoming, at least in my opinion, easier and easier in this game. And win four matches as well. Uh, so realistically the one that should theoretically take the longest is uh, the six goals in separate matches but obviously you could score in a match and lose 2-1 uh, and obviously it would count towards the sustained finishing objective but it wouldn't uh, count to the 4-4 four four objectives obviously one thing you do typically find as well with these a lot of the time if you take the lead in a match Typically, uh, in rivals, the opposition player will often stay in the game, obviously the same with foot champions as well, but often in uh, friendlies, because it literally doesn't matter, nine times, well not nine times out of ten, but I'd say six to seven times out of ten, if you take the lead in the game, the opposition player will leave. To do a rebate, it shouldn't take any more than 90 minutes maximum. Now, I said theoretically, if you were to complete everything do, like uh, and play for every single match, but complete everything every single game, it would take you 72 minutes. The chances are, depending on how good or how bad you're on the game, how, how way you know how your luck is going for you or whatever, uh, you could get it done earlier than that theoretically if people leave, or you could do it take it a little bit longer. But I would say you know. The chances are 9 out of 10 people that do this objective should get in at maximum no more than 90 minutes or an hour and a half of your time. Theoretically, you should be getting this objective done quicker than what you would do for the for the Rafa and the and the two other cards that you get with it. Uh, and that's the only thing they can really say. You know, obviously going into uh, friendlies, it's a card that, you know, expect a lot of people to, you know, to leave their matches uh, pretty much not long after you've scored. And, and as I said before, it's a thing that it shouldn't really take you any more than 90 minutes maximum. The only thing I could say as well, and I personally did this because I knew that the Liga Portugal objectives were coming. Also, prepare your teams for the upcoming championship objectives that will come, I think, on Tuesday. Get your team ready. My Portuguese team is ready to start grinding and rebuild. I've got a few decent players in my team. Of course, it's going to be a max 78 rated team and stuff like that as well. But uh, to be able to get this card, and it's a good card as well, to be fair, 86 rated from Porto, Colombia, uh, gives a little bit of uh, James Rodriguez from what, like FIFA 13 vibes. He did play at Porto, didn't he, before he went to Monaco? I think he did. Hopefully, I haven't got that wrong. But. Um, I'm trying to think if he even played in the Portuguese league now. I think oh, he must have. He must have. But anyway, um, yeah, it, it's a card that shouldn't take you any more than 90 minutes uh, to be able to do at the very maximum, at least in my personal opinion. And hopefully even shorter time than that. But anyway, guys, that'll finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.